Hi, greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Miriam, and <clears throat> I have a book here that was uh, edited and compiled by Zen Garcia, but what he has done is taken all the works he could find from Enoch the prophet, our great-great-grandfather, and put them all in one beautiful book. I don't really don't I know it's going to take me two or three videos to accomplish this but let's start here in appendix 2 the Enoch book of giants reconstructed from the Dead Sea Scrolls chapter 47 well it gives the numbers there 4Q203 1Q23 2Q26 4Q503 and 532 and Q 6Q8, and the Q always stands for Qumran, the Dead Sea Scrolls. These fallen angels knew the secrets of all things. At this time, sin was great on the earth. The wicked angels killed many people and begot giants with mortal women. The wicked former, former angels consumed everything that the earth produced the great fish, the birds in the air, all the fruit of the earth, all kinds of grain, the fruit of the trees, even beasts and reptiles, and they committed sin against all the creeping things of the earth. They observed all earthly things. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. They performed all, every harsh deed with harsh utterance, upon male and female creation upon humanity itself 200 angels had been persuaded to leave heaven for the earth the 200 angels seized 200 donkeys 200 asses 200 sheep and rams of the flock 200 goats 200 beasts of the field from every animal and from every bird for experiments in inbreeding with humans and all types of miscegenation. As a result, monsters were created among all the perversion due to mingling animal seed with mortal women. Similar to Egyptian gods, satyrs, and possibly even dinosaurs, definitely even dinosaurs, um... I think it's pretty evident that anything that God creates is good. So we can look at the dinosaurs, the plant eaters, um, and know that God made those and that the fallen ones took the dinosaurs and made them evil, made, create, created Tyrannosaurus Rex and things like that, and perverted it, inverted it, as always. The historian... Jo Josephus mentions that Enoch had a business in Egypt, then called Syriad. <clears throat> the monsters saw flesh which would be destroyed or perverted. Monsters and giants would arise who were lacking in true knowledge because they were abominations. They mean they had no souls. Meantime, the earth grew ever more corrupt and the giants more mighty. They considered trying to persuade other angels to come upon the earth. Otherwise, their tyranny might ultimately perish and die. All the time they were causing great corruption in the earth. If this aim did not suffer to perpetuate them, they would finally be destroyed, they believed. The fallen ones defiled all creation and begot giants and monstrous creatures and com corrupted all the earth, which was defiled by blood, shedding at the hands of the giants. But this did not suffice them, and they were seeking all the time to devour much more. I read in another uh, ancient scripture that it took thousands of humans to make one meat pie. 
The monsters attacked all creation. The giants are now troubled with portentous dreams. And Mawe reports his dream to the rest of the giants. <clears throat> Apparently, he sees a tablet inscribed with several names immersed in water, which only has three names remaining when it emerges. The usual interpretation is that this symbolizes the death of all on earth except Noah and his sons. But Mawe didn't understand it. And he reported that men drenched the tablet in water so that it was covered. It was then lifted out and all the inscriptions but three had vanished. Mawe goes to the others. They discuss the dream. No one understands it. This vision is cause for cursing and sorrow, said the group. I, said Mawe, am the one who will be blamed most of the whole group of those cast down out of heaven, and I shall have to go to hear the spirits of the slain complaining about their killers and crying out that we shall all die together and be made an end of when I am sleeping and dreaming. Bread and dwelling will be denied me. So, troubled with this vision, the monsters entered into the gathering of the giants. Then Oya spoke without trembling to Mawe. Who showed you all this vision, my brother? Barakel, my father, was with me as corroborator, and it seemed experienced the same vision. But before Mawe had finished telling what he had seen in his dream, Oya said to him, now I have heard wonders. If a barren woman gives birth, that would be an equal wonder. Thereupon Oya said to Haya, Are we to be destroyed upon this earth? Why, yes, yes they were. <laughs> <clears throat> when they had finished discussing the dreams, both Oya and Haya wept before the assembled giants and monsters. Use your strength, the group counseled. Then Oya said to Haya, This doom is not for us, but for Azazel, one of the wicked angels, for he showed most corruption to humanity. They surely will not let all their loved ones be neglected. We are not to be cast down. You angels and monsters have strength and can resist. The giants, however, realize that fighting heaven is futile. Gilgamesh said, I am a giant, and by my mighty strength is my arm. I can vanquish anyone mortal. I have made war with them mortals in the past, but I am now not able to stand against my opponents who reside in heaven and dwell in holy places. And not only this, but they are in fact stronger than I am. The day of the ravening wild beasts has come, and that of the wild man as I am known. Then Oya said to him, I have been forced to have a dream. The sleep of my eyes vanished so that I could see a vision. Now I know that on the field of battle we cannot win. I saw a tree uprooted except for three of its roots, while I was as it were watching. As it were, watching, some beings moved all the roots into this garden, but not the three. <clears throat> this dream vision concerns the death of our souls, said Oya, and those of Gilgamesh and all his companions. However, Gilgamesh said to me that all the forebodings concerned only the rulers of earth, the temporal powerful ones whom the leader of the good angels has cursed. The giants were glad at his words. Then Oya turned and left the assembly. After this, two of them had visions. They were unable to sleep, and they came to their comrades and told their dreams to the assembly. 
their comrades, the monsters. They reported that in their dream they seemed to be observing a garden where gardeners were watering two hundred trees and large shoots came out of their roots. Suddenly the garden became ablaze so that the garden was destroyed and all the water evaporated. Then they went to the giants to tell them of their dreams. The suggestion was made to seek out the scribe and prophet Enoch to interpret the dreams. Let us seek out Enoch, the noted scribe of Yahuwah, and he will interpret for us the dream. <clears throat> Thereupon o Oya had declared to the giants, I too this night had another dream, and behold, the ruler of heaven came down to earth and made an end of us, such is the ending of my dream. Upon hearing this, all the monsters and giants grew afraid and called Mawe the titan. He came to meet the giants who pleaded with him to send and sent him to Enoch the scribe. The giants said to him, Go to Enoch so that he may speak to you and then return saying you have heard his voice. Oya oh, yeah, spoke to Mawe and said to him, Enoch, will listen and interpret the dreams and tell us how long we giants have to live and rule on earth. After a journey through the heavens, Mawe sees Enoch and speaks to him of his request. Mawe mounted up in the air as if upon strong winds, using <clears throat> his hands like eagles' wings, he left behind the inhabited world and passed over the great desert of desolation. Enoch saw him and hailed him. Mawe told Enoch of his mission and said to him that he would speak with him. Flying here and there, Enoch came to came a second time to Mawe after. He, Enoch, had warned Mawe about flying too near the sun. Mawe spoke to Enoch and said that the giants and all the monsters of the earth await his words. If the fall of the wicked angels has been carried out by divine providence from their days of heavenly glory, can you at least assure us that the number of our days spent doing harm will be added to our lives? <clears throat> We wish to know the meaning of the two hundred trees that came down from heaven. <laughs> it was them, or, you know, their fathers. Enoch, having received Mawe's request, tried to intercede with Yahuwah, but unavailingly. Accordingly, he presented Mawe with a tablet which was full of foreboding about the coming judgment, but which offered some hope for a future via repentance some hope for a future via repentance. The scribe Enoch gave Mawe a copy of another tablet that bore Enoch's own handwriting. So even 5,000 years ago, the answer was to repent. <laughs> okay, verse 22. The scribe Enoch gave Mawe a copy of another tablet that bore Enoch's own handwriting. The writing on the tablet said... <clears throat> In the name of the great and holy Yahuwah, this message is sent to Simeyaza and all his companions. Let it be known to you that you will not escape judgment for all the things that you have done, and that your wives, their sons, and the wives of their sons will not escape and that by your licentiousness on the earth there has been visited upon you a heavenly judgment. <clears throat> Planet X was coming. Here comes neighbor Ruth. The land is crying out and complaining about you and the deeds of your children and about the harm you have done to it. Until the heavenly angel Raphael arrives, behold, Destruction is coming by a great flood, which will destroy all living things, whatever is in the deserts and the seas. The meaning of the dreams is by judgment for all your evil. 
But if you now loosen the bonds binding you to evil and pray for forgiveness, you may be saved. So up here he tells us to repent, and now he's telling us that we may be saved through that repentance. Amen. Raphael is an angel sent by God to fight against evil and especially Azazel. To all sin be, as all sin be ascribed to Azazel. Amen. Enoch said, A great fear seized me, and I fell on my face. I had no heard his voice. I heard his voice. Enoch dwelt among human beings, but he did not learn from or rely on them, because God took him. Here endeth the original book of Enoch the prophet, translated from the Aramaic, Aramaic and Greek. And the very next page, Og Ogius the Giant, Ogdius the Giant, also known as the Book of Giants, is an expansion on the narrative found in the Hebrew Bible. Its discovery at Qumran dates the text's creation prior to the 2nd century BC Book of Giants Dead Sea Scrolls. Qumran 203, 1, Qumran 23, 2, Qumran 26, 4, Qumran 530 and 532, and 6, Qumran 8. Compare Genesis 6, 1 through 4. <coughs> now, this is... I've been reading to you from fragmented text, but... <laughs> this is severely fragmented so I'm not going to pause or explain anything because you can see the page I'm going to just read it for you a summary statement of the descent of the wicked angels bringing both knowledge and havoc compare Genesis 6 verses 1 2 and 4 They knew the secrets of sin was great in the earth, and they killed man, many. They begat giants. The angels exploit the fruitfulness of the earth. Everything that the earth produced grew fruit of the earth, and all kinds of grain, and all the trees, beasts, and reptiles, all creeping things of the earth, and they observed all every harsh deed and utterance, male and female, and among humans. The 200 angels chose animals, choose animals on which to perform unnatural acts, including presumably humans. Well, of course. One, excuse me. Two hundred, two donkeys, two hundred asses, two hundred rams of the flock, two hundred goats, two hundred beasts of the field from every animal, from every bird, for miscegenation. That means crossbreeding. That means bestiality. They were breeding animals to women. And that's what we are seeing in the, all the ancient statues. The outcome of the demonic corruption was violence, perversion, and a brood of monstrous beings. Compare Genesis 6, verses 4. They defiled, they begot, giants and monsters, they begot, and behold, all the earth was corrupted with its blood and by the hand of giants which did not suffice for them and they were seeking to devour many <clears throat> the monsters attacked it flesh all monsters will be they would arise lacking in true knowledge because the earth grew corrupt Mighty they were, considering from the angels upon. In the end it will perish and die. They caused great corruption in the earth. They did not suffice to 
they will be. The giants began to be troubled by a series of dreams and visions. Mawe, the titan son of the angel Barakel, uh, reports the first of these dreams to his fellow, fellow giants. He sees a tablet being immersed in water, and when it emerges, all but three names have been washed away. The dream evidently symbolizes the destruction of all but Noah and his sons by the flood. They drenched the tablet in the water. The waters went up over the tablet. They lifted out the tablet from the water of. The giant goes to the others and they discuss the dream and they can't understand it. This vision is for cursing and sorrow. I am the one who confessed the whole group of the castaways that I shall go to, the spirits of the slain complaining about their killers and crying out that we shall die together and be made an end of much, and I will be sleeping and bread for my dwelling, the vision and also entered the gathering of the giants. And you know, he was complaining because he knew there would be no food or water in hell or in the outer darkness. Oh, yeah. And he said to Mawe, without trembling, who showed you all this vision? My brother, Barakal, my father, was with me. Before Mawe had finished telling what he had seen, said to him, now I have heard wonders if a barren woman gives birth. Thereupon Oya said to Haya, and to be destroyed from the earth, and the earth, when they wept before the giants. Your strength. Thereupon Oya said to Haya, then he answered, It is not far for uh, it is not for us, but for Azazel, for he did. The children of angels are the giants. And they would not let all their loved ones be neglected. We have not been cast down. You have strength. <clears throat> yes, but you were born of the ones who were cast down. So <laughs> there's no loophole there, guys. Sorry. The giants realized the futility of fighting against the forces of heaven. Exactly. The first speaker may be Gilgamesh. I am a giant and by the mighty strength of my arm and my own great strength. Any one mortal, and I have made war against them, but I am not able to stand against them, for my opponents reside in heaven, and they dwell in the holy places, and not they are stronger than I. And not da 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 they are stronger than I. Uh, da 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 of the wild beast has come, and the wild man they call me. Then Oya said to him, I have been forced to have a dream. The sleep of my eyes vanished to let me see a vision. Now I know that on 11-12 Gilgamesh, Oya's dream is that of a tree that is uprooted except for three of its roots. The vision's import is the same as that of the first dream. Okay, so this since this is so bad, um, fragmented. I'm going to move on to a more readable fragment. The Book of the Giants by W.B. Henning. Now, from the Bolton of the School of Oriental and African Studies, University of London, Volume 11, Part 1, 1943, pages 52 through 74. The transcriptions of the original text have been omitted in this version. So we don't have the fragmented copies available. <clears throat> There's a blue mesh. Let me get a drink. I mean, look at the size of this guy. That's a lion. He's holding a lion. Look at him. <clears throat> Isaac de Besobre de 
Huguenot's author of one of the best books ever written on um, Manichism, uh History Critique de Manichy et du Amsterdam, 1734 and 1739, was the one to make the only sound suggestion on the sources used by Manny for the compilation of his book, The Giants, The Book of Enoch, and the, and it's in Greek, so I can't read it, which Kenan, a great grandson of Noah, Noah, discovered lying in a field. The latter work has been identified by Alfaric Les Ecriturus. Manichinus with a book whose contents are briefly indicated in the Decretum Gelasianum. Liber de Ogia nomine gigante qui post diluvium cum uh, dracon ab hereticus Pergnasi Perherbitur Apocryphus of the book of the Enoch, which was composed in the Hebrew language in the second century BC, which now we know that's not true. Only an Ethiopic version, a few v Greek fragments, and some excerpts made by the Byzantine chronographer Georgius Sinclus survive. Okay, you know, and and <clears throat> Zen would know. Manny, who could hardly read the Hebrew, must have used an Aramaic edition based directly on the Hebrew text. Okay, let's dig in here. Where is it at? Okay, um... I think I'm going to jump in right here. The Igrigori and their giant progeny are fought and vanquished by four archangels Raphael, Michael, Gabriel, and Israel, or Fanuel, or Uriel. In the book of giants, they are called the four angels. They are frequently invoked by name in Manichaean prayers. There were no details about individual feats of the giants in the Book of Enoch. Manny filled the gap with the help of the above-mentioned Libur de Ogolia, uh, nomine gigante. <clears throat> this Ogius has been identified with Og of Bashan, of course. It's probably one of his sons, who, according to late sources, lived 5,000 years and managed to survive the deluge thanks to his giant size. Uh, but possibly stories that primarily as appertain to Ogius were transferred to the better known Og, his father, owing to the resemblance of their names. The name of Ogius is Y, uh, Oya, in the Manichaean. Okay, I really want to see. It's 4.30 in the morning. Here we go. Fragments of the Kawan. <clears throat> and again, they are horribly fragmented, but I will attempt to briefly go over them, and I will leave it on the page where you can read it for yourself. Hard, arrow, bow, he that Sam said, blessed be, had he seen this, he would not have died. Then Shamyazad said to Sam, his son, All that Mahawai is spoilt. Thereupon he said, Two, we are until and that are in the fiery hell. As my father Viragdad was, Shamyazad said, It is true what he says. He says one of thousands. For one of thousands, Sam thereupon began Mahaway too in many places, until that to that place he might escape, and 
so they know that something horrible is coming and they want to uh, get away. Virog dad, Hobobis robbed Ar, and of Naxtad, his wife. Thereupon the giants began to kill each other and to abduct their wives. The creatures too began to kill each other. Sam, before the sun, one hand in the air, the other, whatever he obtained to his brother, imprisoned over Taxtag to the angels from heaven. Taxtag to Taxtag threw or was thrown into the water and finally in his sleep Taxtag saw three signs one portending one woe and flight and one annihilation Nariman saw a garden full of uh, trees and rows two hundred came out the trees Enoch the apostle gave a message to the demons and their children to you not peace. The judgment on you is that you shall be bound for the sins you have committed. You shall see the destruction of your children, ruling for 420 years, wild ass, ibex, ram, goat, gazelle, oryx, of each 200 a pair, the other wild beast, birds, and animals, and there, there shall be 6,000, wine shall be 6,000 jugs, irritation of water, and their oil shall be nine. I'm not sure what that. He's 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 berating him for taking two hundred of each and doing the misogyna miscegenation. Okay, father nuptials until the completion of his in fighting, and in the nest. Oh yeah, and Aya, yeah, he said to his brother, "Get up, we will take what our father has ordered us to." The pledge we have given, battle, and the giants together, not the of the lion, but the on his, not the of the rainbow, but the bow firm, not the sharpness of the blade, but the strength of the ox, not the eagle, but his wings, not the gold, but the brass that hammers, and not the proud ruler, but the diadem on his head, not the splendid cypress, but the of the mountain. Now he that engages in quarrels, but he that is true in his speech, not the evil fruit, but the poison in it. Not they that are placed in the skies, but the God of all worlds. Not they that are placed in the skies, but the God of all worlds. Not the servant is proud, but the Lord that is above him. Amen. Not one that is sent, but the man that sent him. Thereupon Naraman said, And in another place I saw those that were weeping for the ruin that had befallen them, and when, and whose cries and laments rose up to the heaven. And also I saw another place where there were tyrants and rulers in great number, who had lived in sin and evil deeds, when many were killed, four hundred thousand with fire, naphtha, and brimstone, and the angels veiled, covered, protected, moved out of sight. Enoch, Enoch was the only one protected, and ravished them. They chose beautiful women and demanded them in marriage, sordid, all carried off. Severally, they were subjected to tasks and services and enslaved. They, from each city, and were uh, ordered to serve the, you know, the demon gods. The Messenians were directed to prepare the Kuzians to sweep and water and the Persians to you know so everybody had these demon gods had control over everybody on the five elements <clears throat> slaying righteous good deeds elements the crown the diadem the garland and the garment of light the seven demons like a blacksmith who 
binds, shuts, fastens, and loosens, opens, detaches, who from the seeds of and serves the king, offends when weeping with mercy, hand the pious gave presents. Some buried the idols, the Jews did good and evil. Some make their god half demon, half god, killing the seven demons, I. Various colors that buy and bile, if from the five elements, as if it were a means not to die, they fill themselves with food and drink. Their garment is this corpse and not firm. Its ground is not firm, like imprisoned in this corpse in bones. Nerves, flesh, veins, and skin entered herself into it. Then he, man, cries out, over sun and moon, the just gods, two flames over the elements, the trees and the animals, but God, Juan, in each epoch sends apostles, Sitil, Zarathustra, uh, Buddha, Christ, What is Juan? Is that another name of God we've never heard before? Z-R-W-A-N. If anybody knows, put it in the comments. Evil intentioned from where he came. The misguided it recognized the five elements, the five kinds of trees, the five kinds of animals. On the hearers we receive from Manny, the Lord, the five commandments to the three seals, living, profession, and wisdom, moon, rest from the power, deceit, own, and keep measured the, the mixture, trees and wells in two, water and fruit, milk. He should not have offended his brother. He should not offend his brother, the wise hearer, who like unto juniper leaves, much profit, like a farmer who sows seed in many, the hearer who knowledge is like unto man that threw the dish called frosog into milk. It became hard, not the part that ruin at first heavy, like first is honored might shine six days. The hearer who gives alms to the elect is like unto a poor man that presents his daughter to the king. He reaches a position of great honor in the body of the elect. The food gives given to him, given to to him uh, as alms is purified in the same manner as that by fire and wind. Beautiful clothes on a clean body. Turn. Witness, fruit, tree like firewood, like a grain, radiance. The hearer in, hearer in the world and the alms within the church are like unto a ship on the sea. The towing line is in the hand of the sower, the tower on shore. The sailor is on the board the ship. The sea is the world. The ship is the, the, is the alms. The tower is the towing line, is the wisdom. The hearer is like unto the branch of a fruitless tree, fruitless, and the hearer's fruit that pious deeds, the elect, the hearer, and vomit are like unto thee, Three brothers to whom some possessions were left by their father. Okay, I can't do this at all. So I'm going to go to the next one. Let me see if there's any of these that are readable. Okay, here's some that are readable. Um, fire. 
was going to come out, and I saw that the sun was at the point of rising, and that his center, without increasing, above was going to start rolling. Then came a voice from the air above, calling me. It spoke thus, O son of Virogdad, your affairs are lamentable. More than this you shall not see. Do not die now prematurely, but turn quickly back from here. And again, besides this voice, I heard the voice of Enoch, the apostle from the south, without, however, seeing him at all. Speaking now my name very lovingly, he called and downwards from then. Second page. For the closed door of the sun will open. The closed door of the sun will open. The sun's light and heat will descend. And set your wings alight, you will burn and die, said he. Having heard these words, I beat my wings and quickly flew down from the air. I looked back. Dawn had probably risen. With the light of the sun, it had come to rise over the Cogman Mountains. And again, a voice came from above, bringing the command of Enoch, the apostle. It said, I call you, Virogdad. I know his direction, you, you. Now quickly, people also. I shall see. Thereupon now Sam, the giant, was very angry and laid hands on Mawa, the giant, and the, with the intentions, I shall kill you. Then the other giants, do not be afraid, for Sam, the giant, will want to kill you, but I shall not let him. I myself shall damage. Thereupon my, my way, the giant, was satisfied and they were talking they're probably talking about when um i think her name was moonflower or something she was the last female giant and they sent her into war and she died um read the dream we have e seen thereupon enoch thus and the trees that came out these are the egregory and the giants that came out of the women and over, pulled out over. When they saw the apostle before the apostle, those demons that were timid were very, very glad at seeing the apostle. All of them assembled before, assembled before them. Also, all of those who were tyrants and criminals, they were also worried and much afraid. Then... Not to, thereupon those powerful demons spoke thus to the pious apostle, If by us any further sin will not be committed, my lord, why you have an weighty injunction? They can't understand the destruction that they wrought. <clears throat> Here now. Poverty, those who harassed the happiness of the righteous, on that account they shall fall into eternal ruin and distress, into that fire, the mother of all conflagrations, and the foundation of all ruined tyrants. And when these sinful misbegotten sons of ruin in those crevices, and you have not been better, in error you thought you would this false power eternally, you all this iniquity. Sounds like it says, In error you thought you would keep this false power eternally, and you created and committed all this iniquity. You that call to us with the voice of falsehood, neither did we reveal ourselves on your account so that you could see us, nor thus ourselves through the praise and greatness that to us given to you is visible where out of this fire your soul will be prepared for the transfer to eternal ruin. That's talking about the second death. And as for you, sinful, misbegotten sons of the wrath, wrathful self, confounders of the true words of that Holy One, disturbers of the actions of good deed, aggressors upon piety of the living, who there and on brilliant wings they shall fly and soar further outside and above that fire 
and shall gaze into its depth and height. And those righteous that will stand around it and outside and above, they themselves shall have power over that great fire and over everything in it. Blaze souls that. And what they're talking about right here is that the fire of heaven will be cast down to earth. And let's read it again. And on brilliant wings, and that's us, saints, once we become like angels again, the holy angels, on brilliant wings they shall fly and soar, further outside and above that fire uh, and shall gaze into its depth and height and those righteous that will stand around it above and outside it they themselves shall have power over that great fire and over everything in it blaze souls that they are purer and stronger than the great fire of ruin that sets the worlds ablaze they, they shall stand around it, outside and above, and splendor shall shine over them. Further outside and above it, they shall fly after those souls that might try to escape from the fire. So that's actually talking about tormenting angels, making sure that nobody escapes. And a little more discourse on the Nephilim demons, the four angels with the 200 demons. They took and imprisoned all the helpers. Okay, I'm going to actually stop here. We'll mark the place right here. And you see that I've still got two more that I've got marked. So we'll make a second video. Yahuwah bless you in the name and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Put his guardian angels around you to guard you and protect you and guide you and give you discernment and wisdom in all things. Amen. Amen.